Are you preparing for the U.S. naturalization interview? If you're interested in becoming a U.S. citizen, then this video is for you. This video will teach you everything you need to know about the U.S. naturalization interview, known as the citizenship test, and help you prepare for it. By the time you've finished watching this video, you'll be ready to take the exam and pass it with flying colors. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is there anything I can help you with? Yes, officer. I have a citizenship interview appointment today. At what time is your appointment? At 3 p.m. Could you show me your appointment letter and ID? Sure. Here they are. Do you have any other ID? Oh, sorry. I need to see only a state-issued identification. Let me check. If you have a driver's license, that will do. Oh, yes, I have. Could you please give me a second? Yeah, no problem. Here it is. All right. Now let me take your photo. Sure. Could you please look straight at the camera? Okay. Good. Now for your fingerprints. Please put your left index finger on the scanner. All right. Now your right index finger, please. Great! Here's your number attached to your appointment letter and ID. The immigration officer will call that number when it's time for your interview. Okay. Please take a seat in the waiting area. Thank you. You are welcome. Miss Dassel Jane? Yes, that's me. Hi, I'm Officer David Lopez. I'll be conducting your interview today. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Great, please follow me. Oh, okay. Please come in, but just remain standing. I must place you under oath before the interview. All right. Please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. All right. Please have a seat. Thank you. Do you understand why you had to take the oath? Yes, officer. 
I must make a public promise to tell only the truth. That's right. Tell me, why did you come here today? I am here for my U.S. citizenship naturalization interview. Did anyone come with you? No, officer. I came here alone. No one in my family is available today, but it's okay. All right. May I have your interview notice, please? Sure. Here it is. I also need to see your green card, your passports, and any state-issued identification. Okay, here they are. Thank you. Which country are you a citizen of? Philippines. So you speak Filipino and probably other languages too? Oh yes, I speak too. Filipino and Cebuano. Then I also learned English. It is my third language. Oh, great. Are you ready for your interview? Yes, I am ready. Now, let's start with the civics test. I will ask you up to 10 questions, but if you can answer six questions correctly, then I will have to stop. All right? Okay. Have you studied the 100 civics questions? Yes, officer. 2008 version. Good. Your first question. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? To print money. It's for the federal government. Your answer is incorrect. Oh, I forgot. Well, let's move on to the second question. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. That's right. Third question. We elect a president for how many years? Four. Correct. Now I'm getting nervous. Just relax. All right? Fourth question. What is one responsibility that is only for U.S. citizens? Vote in a federal election. Correct. Fifth question. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. John J. Right. You are doing great. Sixth question. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Cherokee. That's right. Now we'll move on to the seventh question. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. Awesome. 
You have already answered six questions correctly. So that's the end of the civics test portion. Oh, I'm glad. Now for the English reading and writing tests. Please look at the tablet in front of you. When you see a sentence, I want you to read it aloud for me. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. All right. When is Labor Day? Good. Can you use a stylus pen to write on the tablet? Yes, I can. Great. Now please write this sentence on the tablet. Labor Day is in September. Labor Day is in September. Perfect. You have passed the reading and writing tests as well. Oh, thank you. Not at all. Now, I will go over your N-400 application. Yes, officer. How are you eligible for naturalization? I have had my green card for over five years. Did you get your green card through marriage? No, I didn't. Who was the sponsor for your green card? My sister. What's your full name? My full name is Dacel Jane. Is that the same name as on your green card? Yes, it is. Please spell your first name. D A C E L L E. Do you use any other name? No, I don't. Would you like to legally change your name? No, officer. What is your date of birth? October 17th, 1985. And what is your place of birth? Philippines. Are you a citizen of the Philippines? Yes, officer. Do you have another country of nationality? No, officer. Was one of your parents, including adoptive parents, a U.S. citizen before your 18th birthday? No. Do you have a physical or developmental disability or mental impairment that prevents you from demonstrating your knowledge and understanding of the English language or civics requirements for naturalization? No. Do you want the Social Security Administration to issue you an original or replacement Social Security card and update your immigration status with the SSA if and when you are naturalized? Yes, I do. All right. What is your current marital status? 
I am married. If you are currently married, is your spouse a current member of the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Where did you get married? I got married in India. How many times have you been married? Only one time. What's your husband's name? Akil Katri. What is the date of birth of your husband? December 3rd, 1981. Is your husband a U.S. citizen? No, officer. He is a citizen of India. Is your current spouse's present physical address the same as your physical address? Yes, officer. All right. Do you have any children? Yes, officer. I have a son and a daughter. Are your total number of children under 18 years of age? Yes, officer. Where were your children born? They were born in the U.S. Are your children biological to you? Yes. What are their dates of birth? My son was born on May 25th, 2010. My daughter was born on April 21st, 2013. Do you have any adopted children? No. All right. Why do you want to become an American citizen? Because I believe in the form of government and want to vote. Good. When is your date of permanent residency? February 2nd, 2008. And you are currently living at 6530 Beth Ann Court, Middletown, Ohio. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Has your address changed since you sent your application? No, officer. Is your current physical address also your current mailing address? Yes, it is. When did you move to the current address? February 2nd, 2008. All right. Are you currently working? Yes. And what work do you do? I work as a full-time cashier at Family Farm and Home. Have you traveled abroad for the past five years? Yes, officer. How many times have you left the United States since you became a green card holder? Two times only. And where did you go on those trips? To my hometown in Quezon City, Philippines. Did any of your trips abroad last six months or longer? Oh no, the longest we stayed there was only a month. On the last trip, you visited the Philippines on July 5th, 2024, correct? Yes, that is correct. 
And you came back to the United States on July 25th, 2024? Yes. What reason did you have for leaving the United States on your last trip? To visit our parents, so many relatives. We also have a big family in the Philippines. All right. We move on to part nine of the N-400 form. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? No, officer. Have you ever registered to vote or voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Since you became a lawful permanent resident, have you called yourself a non-resident alien on a federal, state, or local tax return, or decided not to file a tax return because you considered yourself to be a non-resident? No. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any communist or totalitarian party anywhere in the world? No. Have you ever associated with any group anywhere in the world that advocated any of the establishment in the United States of a totalitarian dictatorship? No. Have you ever advocated, supported, and promoted any of the overthrow by force or violence or other unconstitutional means of the government of the United States or all forms of law? No, never. What does overthrow a government mean? To remove the government by using force. Have you ever associated with any group anywhere in the world that advocated any of the unlawful damage, injury, or destruction of property? Oh no, never. Have you ever sold or smuggled illegal drugs or narcotics? No. Have you ever been a member of? involved in, or in any way associated with, or have you ever provided money, a thing of value, services or labor, or any other assistance or support to a group that used a weapon or explosive with intent to harm another person or cause damage to property? No. Do you currently owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes in the United States? No, officer. I always file taxes right on time. Have you ever participated in any kind of sexual contact or activity with any person who did not consent, did not agree, or was unable to consent, could not agree? or was being forced or threatened by you or by someone else? No. Have you ever served in, been a member of, assisted, helped, or participated in any armed group, for example, paramilitary unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, or guerrilla group? No. Were you ever a part of any group, or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? Oh, no, never. Have you ever sold, provided, or transported weapons, or assisted any person in selling, providing, or transporting weapons which you knew or believed would be used against another person? No. 
Have you ever committed, agreed to commit, asked someone else to commit, helped commit, or tried to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. Have you ever been arrested, cited, detained, or confined by any law enforcement officer, military official in the U.S. or elsewhere, or immigration official for any reason, or been charged with a crime or offense? No. Have you ever engaged in prostitution, attempted to procure or import prostitutes? Or persons for the purpose of prostitution, or received any proceeds or money from prostitution? No. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No, officer. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. What is a deportation proceeding? The legal process for removing or deporting a person. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. Do you support the Constitution and the form of the government of the United States? Oh, yes, I do. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Are you unable to take the oath of allegiance because of a physical or developmental disability or mental impairment? No. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes, officer. Do you know what non combatant services are? Non combatant services? Ah, yes. Services that do not involve combat or hiding. Good. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I am willing. All right. Please look at the tablet and review your application carefully. Make sure that all information in there is correct. 
Then sign your name on the tablet and hit the accept button. Yes, officer. Okay, here's a copy of your naturalization interview results. Thank you. You have passed the tests, the interview, and all the necessary requirements for U.S. citizenship. Congratulations! Oh, I'm so happy. Please review the Oath of Allegiance on the tablet. By signing your name, you are affirming that you will take the Oath of Allegiance on the day of your naturalization ceremony. Okay. Here it is, officer. I have reviewed the Oath of Allegiance and signed it. Great. I will now submit your application for approval. Once it is granted, you will get a letter to the mail stating the date, time, and location for your oath ceremony. Do you have any questions? No, officer. I'm just so excited to wait for my oath. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Again, congratulations. For more U.S. Citizenship Help Guide, please click on the subscribe button and notification bell below now so you won't miss out latest videos. Thank you and good luck.